Which of the following functions has a zero at x equals three and has a graph in the xy plane with a vertical asymptote at x equals two and a hole at x equals one? All right, well, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. If something has a hole, that means there's an x minus one on the top and on the bottom of a rational function. There you go. If it has a vertical asymptote at x equals two, that means it has an x minus two in the denominator, but not in the numerator, if I can speak properly. If it has a zero at x equals three, that means there's an x minus three living upstairs and nothing like it downstairs. So it looks like what I have to do is foil each of these out and uh, see what I get. One more time. If you're wondering, whoa, 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 where did you get all this? A hole is when you have the same factor living upstairs as you have downstairs. Why is it negative? Because if we follow the zero product property, is zero exists at the opposite of its factor, as long as the factor is just an x minus or x plus something. That's where the hole came from. The vertical asymptote came from the fact that we have an x minus 2 living down here, but not one living up here. The 0 at x equals 3 comes from the fact that we have an x minus 3 up here and nothing like it downstairs. That's where my zeros exist. My zeros exist where my uh, polynomial in the numerator is set equal to 0. So if it's x equals 3, that must be because that's x minus 3 up top. All right. Let's scooch all of these out of the way. Let's scooch all of these out of the way. Such pretty colors. It's like an abstract art painting, but better. Let's foil. I've got x squared. Let's do a little quick foil. Minus 3x minus 1x is minus 4x. And then negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. Down here, we have x squared minus 2 minus one is negative three x, negative one times negative two is plus two, and that leads me with just a as an answer. Making sure I didn't see any typos, and yeah, that's it, that's the only guy. So again, we set up kind of like the factored version, multiply it out, it ends up being a, uh, we're not allowed to use a calculator, so it wouldn't be fun graphing all of these and see which one matches that because this is a no calculator allowed section. But there you have it. The answer is A.